Today we go on a journey to form the biggest empire in Crusader Kings 3, Slavia. Starting as a small vassal to our father in Croatia, our first goal, Bosnia. Much to the anger of our neighbors. So here we have it. Today we attempt to unite the Slavs. Now you may have noticed I've been trying to go through and do all of the new like kingdom and empire forming decisions. So today I was just going to do founding the kingdom of Bosnia, which is just this little section here, these three little duchies. And then you get all them, you can form the kingdom of Bosnia. So I thought, why not start down here? Form the kingdom of Bosnia, then unite the South Slavs, which is this area, which is still a pretty big area with Bulgaria. And we're probably going to have to face off with the Byzantine Empire as well. And once we got all that done, I mean, it makes sense to try and go for the whole empire of Slavia, which is something I've never done before because look how much land we have to take. There's a lot. So what I'm going to do for this is probably going to be about three different videos. So get in Bulgaria and the South Slavs and then eventually unite in all of Slavia. As I thought, there's no point rushing it and getting it done in one like 30 minute video because then so much will just be cut out. Also, I wanted to do this. If there's anything you want to see me do along the way, please let me know in the comments as I may as well do some other challenges along the way. One thing I definitely have on my mind to do is create a new faith. I think once we got like the South Slavs united, creating our own faith could be interesting. Maybe also branching off doing our own culture and stuff like that. But I started in this county for a reason. As we want to form the kingdom of Bosnia, we start in the right area, right? But there's no actual Bosnian rulers. But our land is actually of the Bosnian culture. So we can easily go to decisions, convert to local culture and say, I acknowledge who I am. And after we do that, here we go. So now we're the head of the culture because, yeah, there's no other rulers, I believe. So we're going to try and take the Bosnian culture a very, very far way. And I've never actually also played within Croatia in 867. And it's actually really interesting. Our father is our liege. And the only other vassal is me and then my brother. So There's just one family all controlling this. Now, our brother is the primary heir. I was going to try and murder him and then just inherit the kingdom. But what I might actually do is just stay as a vassal. We can just milk it for a little while while we collect the other land we need. So what I'm going to do is I want council rights. We'll give away succession rights. And just like that, we can. Where are we? We're already a steward. Okay, so we'll stay as a steward for now. But if we did get kicked off the council, we can easily demand a position now. And if we look at the actual duchy map, we start within Upper Bosnia. And I think I want to make this my capital duchy for the whole thing because it looks like a pretty good duchy to have. The capital, the county of Rama, has five different holdings with the capital castle having four building slots, a duchy slot, and a special building slot. Like, that's a really good duchy. So I'm going to make that potentially my first target. Hmm, let's have a look. Oh, you know what? We might go... We'll go for these guys first. So what we're going to have to do is... Oh, my God. Our bishop has three learning. But yeah, we're going to get him to work on a claim down here. Uh, can we murder him? 34 is not great because he is awful. But yeah, we're going to go for this county first. Build our power. Probably take on this guy and then take some land off this guy. And I think we also need some... Yeah from the guy just above us. And once we have all of that, I think we scheme to take our brother's throne. So let's see. Stewardship, probably not a bad choice. I think actually I'm going to go down the learning lifestyle, go down scholar, try and get sanctioned loopholes just so we can just buy the claims, I guess. We also get learning on the job, which is fantastic. And we can boost our development. So yeah, as soon as we get this county, we want to develop it like crazy. Make this county just absolutely insanely developed and built up as we're going to need like a strong base while we attack. Especially if we're going to face off with some giant empires. Let's see. For a marriage, if we could get a genius already, that would be actually perfect. Shall we check? Ooh, yes. We're going to marry her and straight away seduce. And we'll also, yeah, demand her conversion. And we gain 75 gold for that. So, of course, we're going to have to keep building up our military. We have some bowmen, onagers, and light footmen. I'm going to build up these bowmen then. As, yeah, this guy may be a slightly tough war if he grows a little bit. Bulgaria is scary. But... We'll keep our goals small for now. Let's get Bosnia. I'm also now, yeah, going to look to marry people into my court. So we're going to marry our spy master to this man. And then he'll make an amazing steward just so we can keep making good money. And we also need a marshal. I'm not too bothered. Diplomacy's fine. She needs to go. But we definitely need a new marshal. 16's not bad. So we're going to get him to come along as well. And there we go. We have a decent-ish court now. Now, we can already declare a war on somebody. We can holy war. Hmm, that's not... Can we maybe get an alliance with our brother? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. So now we are allied to our brother, which may affect us later. We want his land, but it's a nice little alliance for now. Now he is of the... Oh, this... Hmm. So if we do a holy war, we're 
against a pretty big faith, which people may get involved with, like his neighbors. But do we just try it? Because then we could have our new capital straight away and we can start developing it really early. Let's go for it and hope nobody else gets involved. All right, let's raise all. Let's hope we can get this. Do we have a holy order? No. Hopefully he doesn't either then. Let's just get in there. Start sieging the land we need. Now, my brother, I think, is losing a fight over there. I'm just going to let that happen. And we've had a son. Ah, he's not genius though. Yeah, we've got our son. Hopefully we do get a genius along the way. Let's go in and fight his army. We want this to end quite quick, though, as we don't want to be waiting around for other people to get involved. Another son? Quick? Why are we having children so quick? We're being raided as well, but uh, why has he got so many men? A raiding army has joined him. Right, that's fantastic. The raiding army is just camping on the, the land we need for the war target. We're up 61%, though. I want to get this done really quick. I do not want to be stuck in this war for any longer. There we go. So we have to... It took three years, though, to be fair. I think my brother got imprisoned. I think he was, but he is severely injured. So he may just die because he's injured and we may just inherit the land that way. Yeah, I'm going to move my capital over here already. Start fixing the control and start building this area up. So the one genius we get is our daughter. I imagine, yeah, we are like male preference. Yeah, so it's not that helpful for us, which is great. So I'm going to, yeah, spend 80 gold now and start getting some hill farms down just build this area up from the get-go. It'll make our life much easier later on. And yeah, keep building our bowmen. Max them out. Another son? Not a genius. Oh my god, we're popping out sons who are just terrible, which is the opposite of what I wanted. This claim is expensive, but we do need the land, but this claim is going to cost us 111 gold. No, I'm not going to do that. That's way too much. What I think I'm going to do is actually go on a pilgrimage once we get a little bit more money. I'd rather use that money to get loads of piety and then... We can just buy the claims once we unlock sanctioned loopholes. I think that's probably the smart way to go about this. But what is going on here? Okay, so he's allied with Bavaria, my lieges, and he's actually fighting. Okay, I thought maybe his land was getting taken. No, he's just fighting with Bavaria against Italy and East Francia, I believe. Please don't do anything stupid. Please don't make us lose all our land. Okay, finally, a genius son. So we're going to get him educated by us, although I don't know if we're going to be able to, like, actually make him our primary heir. There's three other sons in the way, but we'll try. I just, <laughs> I'm not too hopeful about it. Um, okay, so this just got Modena. That is a, it's a great color, but it's also terrible. Um, it looks like, yeah, he's been up to no good as usual. Yeah, this is a terrible looking color. Now we have like four Italys. Five? Yeah, we have five Italys now. Great. Okay, so we actually did just pass into the faithful level of devotion, giving us the ability to holy war for entire duchies. Now, we need a lot of land from our south, which some of it our father has. So we'll just inherit some of that, mostly to our north. But this guy, yeah, he's maybe a bit too powerful for me. We could just do a holy war for a county again against him. Because yeah, if we go for this county right by here, we completely control the Duchy of Upper Bosnia. So I think that's not a bad play. We can call our brother again, force him to do our wars for us. Let's see, if he crosses into our land, then we jump him. We should be able to defeat him, no problem. Now we've got to get on the war target and we'll have our personal duchy that we want to hold for the whole game. Yeah, we're already sieging. Things are going fantastic. Somebody else has got involved. So who is that? Oh, this guy from the south. He has like almost a thousand men though, to be fair. So he is pretty powerful. I'm sure we could. Maybe not the genius daughter. Marry this daughter off for an alliance somewhere, maybe. Wessex? Why would Wessex want to marry to us? And they're a bit far away. Yeah, this guy could be a good alliance. And he is pretty close. Wait, inheritance just happened. What did I just inherit? Oh, he died for my fight. So we've inherited his lands. That does make us, yeah, the primary heir of my father. I, wait, am I now? I'm of Croatia. What just happened? So my father died in his sleep on the 20th. 2nd of February, and then my brother died on the 14th of January. So my brother died, and then just after my father died, so we inherited all of his lands. We just somehow went from like a count to a duke in like a second because of deaths. It did lose us our ally though, but we do have another one we can call. Do we need them? I'm not sure if we do. We'll wait and see. But yeah, that's a big upgrade. I was going to leave my brother like alive and just overthrow him, but I mean, he did just die. So okay, we've got tick and war score. So now it's just a case of holding the war target just like that. And then we can enforce demands. And I think we need to take a minute just to assess the situation that we're in. Okay, we have some pretty good vassals now to go on our court. We're still going to keep Rama as our 
of capital, I think. I think that's a smart choice. So it's like a pretty good county to have. But yeah, we're holding nine out of six. So we have got to give some land away. So I'm probably going to give these three counties away. Now, it is the Duchy of Croatia. So it would be good to hold it because that is our main title. But it is built up a little bit as well. Hmm. Yeah, we'll give Croatia away. I'd rather keep Upper Bosnia. So we need to find somebody to give it away too. We have this guy who's a peasant leader and he's a lowborn. You know what? Maybe actually. You know what? We're going to trust a peasant leader. We'll give him the whole Duchy of Croatia just like that. And yeah, he's a pretty good diplomat. We'll make him our diplomat. Keep him on our side. Oh, we're still involved in these wars, which I don't want to be involved in. None of them directly affect me, so I'm just going to ignore them. We have some prisoners we can ransom off, which we will do because that is just free money. Let's see where we stand on the kingdom of Bosnia. So we have Upper Bosnia and its title. Now I think our next target should be this one to our south. We only need to get, what is that, two more counties? Four? Okay, that's quite a big duchy, but we can Holy War for it, which I think we might just do, right? Holy Wars have been, you know, they've done us good so far. We'll call our allies this time because um, just in case. Catch them out up here, hopefully. Here we go. Our allies are already here as well. This is Perfect. Now we just got to siege all of his land. And there we go. Just like that. That was nice and simple. They didn't really have much he could do. Nobody went to help him. And because they're holy wars and something I've recently learned, our faith is not pluralist. We actually revoke all of the titles. So we hold all this land ourselves. So now we're going to want to give these three counties to somebody else. So we're going to give this du southern duchy to somebody else to control. We don't really want to control it. That's fine. Our marshal and knight. You know what? Congratulations. We're going to give them to him, I think. We'll give him just two to now so we don't go like under our domain limit. We've still got six out of six, but eventually we will grant that to him. And for the decision, we do actually have to have all of the titles. So yeah, once they're available, we'll create the title for the duchy and that will give us then obviously a de jure war. So should it not? I feel like it should if we have the duchy title. That is strange. Yeah, we don't have a de jure war. Maybe it's something to do with the faiths. I don't know, but we're going to carry on with these holy wars. Not how I planned this to go was a lot of holy wars, but if it's working, it's working. Yeah, I, want, I definitely want some ideas of what kind of faith you would like me to create. Maybe give me some ideas of tenets and stuff you want to see. Maybe a culture. Maybe we could form like a hybrid culture of Bosnia and like Polish or Prussian or something. As you've got to go up there anyway, might as well make a good culture. Yeah, when we keep getting land from here, we're going to keep giving them away. We'll just give a duchy to each person to control for themselves. Now let's check the decision. So the only thing we have left is to get to the early medieval era. And if we check with... 980. So we've got about 18 more years on that, which is fine. That'll give us some time to continue expanding maybe towards uniting the South Slavs as well. So yeah, right now, the only thing we have left is Lower Bosnia, which does mean we have to do one more war against this guy who now has some incredible allies, like these guys with 1,700 men, and he's absolutely terrifying. And also, these two are North in Slavonia. They're allied with... Yeah, he's quite far away within Aquitaine. So that's not maybe as much of a worry. But these guys are taking over Italy. What is going on? Italy is just is no more. See, that's why I thought it was a populist revolt and they always just get the maddest colors. And what faith is this? Waldenicism. Where does this come from? But that does mean we can holy war the guy to our north as well, which is not what I was expecting. Everybody's just converting to random faiths. Now, yeah, we only have 82 renown. So like I want this guy to be our A. He's probably going to turn out pretty good. But this guy is our heir. He's 14 and he's not bad, but I want the genius trait. But to actually get him on the succession line, we're talking he's fourth. And then to disinherit, it's 150 renown and 300 prestige. So that's not going to work. So yeah, we're not going to get the genius, I think, as our heir. So I maybe look for a genius for my eldest son to marry. Ignore that amazing spell. And if we marry them two together, they may have like a genius son. So we'll try that. See how it goes. We're not making too much money yet either, but that is fine. Uh, there's still a lot of building we need to do. Here we go. The peasant leader's gone ahead and had a son, formed his own house. Look at that. Wise as the eagle. So we're going to keep a close eye on that house. You know what? I like that house. As long as they don't try to overthrow me, we'll make them strong. One day we'll make them into kings. But if they do overthrow me, you know what will happen. <laughs> so our oldest has come of age now. He is an astute intellectual. He's not bad. So I'm not too disappointed with him. 
that he's not the genius. Hopefully, she is now 38. So they got seven years to have a genius son. Let's hope. Okay, this guy, yeah, he's lost his allies. I think maybe the previous ruler just died, potentially. Yeah, so we can declare war, holy war for duchy, and actually take the remainder of lower Bosnia from his land anyway. We still need this county over here. Now, yeah, this faith I'm not that worried about compared to this one, right? So I'm not going to call any allies. We should be good. Let's see. We're going to jump in there, raise them all, wait for them to come to our land, and then try and catch them in our land. Defeat them like that, nice and easy. And then we'll jump on the war target. Okay, there's a peasant uprising. That looks quite big. So we want this war to end as soon as possible. Okay, so we're up 54% with a full war target siege. We're going to go now have his armies. Up 75. And then unsiege. He did siege a county in our land. Hopefully we can unsiege that and get over there. Yes. Here we go. 100% on that one. Now, what is this war? Oh, so the guy who has the county we need is actually in a war that started 11 months ago trying to conquer one of the counties we just took. Now, his armies are just standing over here wondering what the hell he got himself into. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, no, please. But we're going to try and end this peasant uprising first. Although he can't really seem to do much. We have 24 troops left. And then we're just going to go siege his land. Like, this guy's army is just running away. And there we go. We have now defended that other war, which does mean we may have a truce, or maybe not, because... Yeah, I don't think we do, because the war was started on the other ruler, not us. But I think you may not get a truce if that happens. And yeah, you can see this blue outline is the land we need, and there's only one county remaining. Now, this guy, he's still pretty powerful, so we'll probably just leave him alone for a little while. We've got to get to the next era anyway, so it's not like we're in a super rush. I think maybe we'll build... Build some hill forts. Let's build up our fort level. It's gonna take six years to build, though. We could ask one of our children to take vows. I mean, we don't need him. He's pretty good, though. But it's 65% chance he accepts and becomes a monk. I see no reason not to do that. Here we go. It's just one less thing to worry about on inheritance. Right, I want to find another powerful Catholic ally that can help us finish off Bosnia. Now, Aquitaine's good and all, but they're quite far away. I want some... Ooh. Hmm. Do we ally with the Cursed Kingdom itself? Well, that could be quite interesting. Maybe we can keep these guys in power from Italy. Stop Italy ever coming back. You know what? I kind of like that. Let's go for it. We marry our daughter to the heir. I hope they actually stay as that and not go back to Italy. I think that would be quite interesting. Although I don't think they will, but we'll see. They basically are Italy at this point. Italy's pathetic. Right, so this man has been torturing my daughter. We can start a house feud and we become rivals. Make him our rival or there is nothing to be done. Do we start a house feud? He has 14 intrigue. You know what? House feud. Let's get them. We are now feuding with our neighbor's house. Let's see. I think we now, Holy War for Duchy. Oh, there's two more counties of Lower Bosnia to actually get. So we might need to go for a pilgrimage quickly. 125 for a very long. What we're going to do is got all of his children. Look like There's people spy masters. Have we made a mistake? We might as well start a murder scheme. Probably not going to be successful, but we'll start it. And once we have the... Gain the nemesis. Okay, so we're nemesis is now. We absolutely despise each other. But after that, look, we've got plenty of piety to the clay war. Duchy. Well, do we just... We'll take all of Lower Bosnia, right? We could just go for something else first to weaken him more. But I say, let's start out with Lower Bosnia. And we'll try and take out the rest of the land later on. Wait, did he kidnap my other daughter? Why do you have so many of my daughters in prison? We've called our allies on their way. Let's get in there now and start fighting them. See if we can defeat them nice and early. There we go. We defeat one of their armies. Smash them. Let's just keep going. Any army we see, just keep their numbers small. And hopefully our allies do get you soon. You know what? Well, let's go raid his capital. We may actually get a nice capture on one of his family, which will be pretty good for the field. Um, he has 4,000. We have 5,000 men. Let's see. Another daughter here. I want someone kind of close still. Ooh, this guy, yeah, that's interesting. He's quite close. Let's get an alliance with them and also now call these along. We're making this into a massive fight. Hopefully this guy... Oh, his al my allies are here. I didn't see them up there. Hopefully he comes help me siege the capital. 100% we actually captured him. I mean... Should we torture him? Let's torture him. These rats might seem shy, I say, as I strap the bucket to uh, his exposed chest. But once it gets warm in there, they will do anything to escape. Luckily for them, their teeth are very sharp. He pleads for mercy as I reach for the glowing coals. What movie have I seen that in? Is it like a Fast and Furious something? Where they like put the bucket on their chest with a rat and they heat the bucket up and they dig into the stomach. But yeah, that is what we're doing. He's now a lunatic or potentially a lunatic. We tortured him and now we'll release him. Come on, we're winning the field. Yes, we're winning. I mean, we did capture their leader, torture him. Yeah, we got this. Oh, we have his daughter in prison. Does he have two of mine still? Yeah, so we need to take over all of his land to get our two daughters out of prison. But we do 
have his daughter and his granddaughter. So we, we have two of his family members and he has two of ours. Now, executing them might seem quite harsh. I don't want him to react and then execute my family. So what I might do is just keep them in my prison for now and then just see how that goes, I guess. You want to have your daughter back for 25 gold? No. You can ransom ours for 25 gold, though I'm happy enough to do that. We're going to ransom them both if we can. A little bit more gold for here. But we're going to ransom both of ours back. Here we go, just like that. Let's get them both back. Oh, they have a new ruler look. They've split up. So we're still feuding with them. What we're going to do now then, power move. Let's execute them both, just like that. And then at this point, we are so clear in the feud. Like, they, they, they did not even try, and it seems. But yeah, they've actually split up now. And we have all our daughters back. Now, this guy's the house head. I'm going to buy a claim on his land. And then we're going to start a war against him for our claims. Because he has no allies. He's weak. And he is the head of, like, the house we're feuding with. So I just want to wipe them out, to be honest with you. I just want to completely remove any of their power. Someone's trying to murder me. That makes sense. I think it's probably someone from the feud. So let's see. We have a pretty decent spy master who can start disrupting schemes. Okay, my wife died from her wounds. We don't want any more children. So we're going to look for somebody infertile. There's just a lot of stewardship, I think. Just get some money. Uh, we are winning this war and it should be over pretty soon. We're up 89%. So my son has come to me. Please, this insane grudge has got to stop. I am scared to go anywhere. My son is clearly shaken. I am torn between the risks posed to my family and the need to teach them a lesson. We must finish what we started. Yes, we are not done yet. We will destroy them. And just like that, enforce demands. And we do have a war because somebody's attacking us. Uh, we can just go and defend that, no problem. But yeah, we do have two of this family as vassals, which obviously you know, is a pretty big problem to have. What I'm probably going to do is rebuild up my army and and we should now be able to, yeah, we're already limited crown authority, so we can revoke titles. So we're going to revoke both of their titles, I think. And the only person remaining from that family then with land is this guy up here. Wait, did that guy just have succession and then take land from my kingdom? I think that just happened, yes, as we now only have one of that family as a vassal. So that's not great. We lost some of the land we just fought very hard for. Yeah, we are going to revoke his title. He's going to stand up against us, which is fine. Hopefully not many other vassals do. No, just the other guy down south, that's fine. But yeah, we don't want any of them landed, especially not inside our own realm. The feud keeps coming up to end. No, I am not ending the feud. We are literally going to fight until one of us has nothing left. That's the only option here. So far, looks like it's going to be you guys. So, revoke his county. Perfect. And we might as well revoke this guy's title as well. Got to grant these away to somebody else now as well, of course. So, Boris. You know what? Because I like your name. We're going to have these two counties. So, yeah, that family is down to just having one person landed, I believe. Look Look at that. One of them's in our prison. We're, of course, now going to execute. Actually, you know what? We're going to torture you. Ooh, child heritage secret. Blackmail. So we're going to expose his secret of being an adulterer. We're just rubbing everything in. We'll let his wife go for 53 gold. But you go into the dungeon. And we're going to leave you in the dungeon. <laughs> this feud, we are winning. They started it, I think. I think they started it, maybe. I can't even remember at this point. It's just been nonstop chaos. So this guy, yeah, we don't have a truce with him. So we may as well just do holy wars against him and then it just completely unlands him. Saves us then having to go through the pain of revoking his titles. Oh yeah, well, let's get straight on the war target. Siege as fast as we can. He's coming to fight us but got absolutely destroyed. Here we go. We have won this fight though. And now we have one more war to do against them just to completely unland them and make their family just completely irrelevant. <laughs> so yeah, we can create the title of Lower Bosnia. So the only thing we need now to become the king of Bosnia is go to the early medieval era. Now we are 40 seven. We have seven years left and then however many years it takes after that to actually get into the era, which may be around 15. So I'm going to try and get a hold of body, see if we can live long enough to get this done in this first life. Now, we do finally have enough renown to disinherit someone. We could disinherit our main heir and play as this guy as his son is genius because of his wife. So we could, yeah, just disinherit him. And then not this generation, but the generation after will play as a genius. I think that's probably the best thing we can do. If we do get another 150 renown, we could then also disinherit this guy and actually plays our genius son. But I'm not sure if he'll be around long enough for that one. Oh, another one of their rulers have died. The feud will continue. So, yeah, there's just this 
little girl now who has no allies or anything. So we're just going to do a simple little holy war now. We'll just take our men at arms, defeat their armies, siege this one county, and that should put an end to the feud. Let's see. In force, I'll disband. Let's see. Let's see this feud. There's still four living members, but they have no land. So will it just end? Feud, the next enemy. Oh yeah, they have nothing. They're wandering. So this has gone far enough. I think we end it. We also get the capable family bonus, which is more prestige and dread. And then we lose house food. Yep, yeah, there we go. I think we absolutely just destroyed everything they had. And it's their own fault. So I don't feel that bad. Ooh, it's gonna take 21 years. Yeah, that's terrible. So it goes faster if you have higher average development. And yeah, our development's not that good overall. Our capital has 13 and then the rest of them are like six. Can we live another 20? We could. We really could if we get hold of body. So yeah, we're gonna try and survive at this point <laughs> long enough. Now, I wanna get some of this guy's land while we wait for that. So I'm gonna buy a claim. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna first take this county down here, which is this one. So 250 piety, I believe. And then we can declare war. Now he is quite powerful and he is allied with... Okay, she's quite small. So it's mainly his troops we have to fight. So we're gonna start a war now for this county. We're gonna raise right next to it. We could call our allies. Yeah, why not? Let's be safe. Yeah, we're gonna jump straight away on a siege. They have sieged some of our land though, sadly. So we might have to go and fight them. We should win if we catch them. There we go. And our allies are over there actually sieging on their own, which is great. So we can go and unsiege this county now. Our allies are losing that fight, but we did catch them. Fallen son. Damn, it was a disinherited one. So yeah, our son did die in battle. What I'm gonna do is make sure this genius son is not allowed to fight. So yeah, we are gonna forbid him from fighting. <laughs> do not. We'll force our player here. Just forbid the genius son. Here we go. We'll end that there then. Bavaria though, they're like growing just above my land. So I hope they get no funny ideas and come for my land. Okay, so the king of Modena will take a marriage with my granddaughter. Let's do that. Get a nice alliance with those guys again. Yeah, I'm going to keep asking the head of faith for gold then just going into my capital and stuff and just building things that give us money mainly for now. What has my daughter been up to? So she's had a secret exposed that she's an adulterer. She's also a murderer. Oh, what a legend. <laughs> she murdered one of these house. You know what? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Uh, we can't seem to ransom her, which I would if I could, just because she killed one of them people from that house. Yeah, we don't seem to have the option to, so I think she's just stuck in jail. Hopefully not get executed, but she probably will. Okay, so actually, yeah, at this point, we have the ability to disinherit our future heir, and now it, all our titles are going to go to this guy who is the genius. Sadly, he hasn't had a genius son yet. He had one that is robust is hail and a daughter that is robust. So hopefully he gets like a genius robust heir and that would be perfect for us. Yeah, we still got a few years left until we can just straight up bound the kingdom because we have to get to the next era. So hmm, yeah, let's go on a pilgrimage. We'll go on a short one. That's all we should need. But I'm going to buy a duchy claim now and hopefully take the most of this shore. Here we go. So now we can buy claim and pull that duchy and then declare war. Wait, what? Wait, why is my claim not there? So I already have a claim on this title. Why can't I declare war for it? Am I missing something? Now, he is Greek. So they have the Byzantine tradition, which I think stops anybody, even foreign rulers who were disfigured from declaring war on them, infertile. So I think it's because I am um, celibate. If I abandon celibacy and now look, yeah, that's stupid. But yeah, it's really stupid that if you are <laughs> taking the decision to have celibacy, or even if you are disfigured and you're foreign, you can't declare war on them. Like, because you're, even though you're not, part of that culture. I can understand if it was limited for people of that culture, but for people outside of the culture, it's kind of a strange thing. Like, I'm coming to fight you, not like peacefully agree that I'm going to take your land. Shouldn't matter. Yeah, we should have, yeah, no problem actually taking this one. He has 1,200 men. There we go. We captured him in battle. I think we even disfigured him. Yeah, how would you like that one? How are you going to go ahead and declare war now? Yes, look at this event. Drinking Companion. The uh, peasant leader we actually give titles to from the start. We're now friends. I'm happy with that. Want these guys to do well. No. He died at 60 year of age. He drank himself to death. I kind of feel a fault for that. We did just become drinking companions, but his land did split between two people. What I'll probably do is, yeah, when I get the ability to create a duchy title, I'll just give it to one of them and create it for them. Obviously, I can't give Dutch titles away now because I'm only a duke. So our friends in Modena just called us to a war. We're going to have to go and help him. He's facing a tyranny war. And I don't want them to be overthrown. I want to try and protect them all other I can. It seemed like a good ally we could maybe carry on this playthrough with. So let's just keep them on our side. Where is their main army? Over there, 1,500.
4,500. Like, they're getting chased. Maybe we'll go for a siege. No, we're getting chased now. And we're getting destroyed. Yep, yeah, he's being overthrown. They're all just two split up. Okay, I'm gonna go meet them up here. They're only down 9% at this point. So if I can get to them and we can just stick together. Oh, it invalidated. That's perfect. So now he keeps his throne. Of course, our granddaughter is the queen. And our great grandson is the future heir. We have the ability to found a new kingdom. But no, the whole point of this is get Bosnia. This cheeky person. Right, this man. Okay, she's an adulterer and murderer. I think, yeah, fine. You have her in prison. But you have my daughter in prison. And you want me to come and help your wars. I'm going to agree. But I hope you lose. So no, I'm not going to come and get involved. Okay, I just sent the Pope a gift. I was 150 gold. So we can request a divorce for my son. And once that's agreed with, uh, we need to try and get him to have more children. I would much rather like a genius son on the way rather than then going back to hell, right? 36. I think that's okay. As long as he's not stupid and he just gets going with it, we'll see how it goes. Because I did just well spend a few minutes, married off all my grandchildren to people with traits and that, just to get them out into the world. We'll probably have no use of them. But yeah, we have 17 members so far. We're infirm and we have 11 months left. This should be okay. That's good. I think we do have healthy, yeah. Don't have whole body though just yet. Come on, four more months. We should be okay. Please game. Oh my God, I thought that was my death. I genuinely just thought I died. There we go. Found kingdom of Bosnia. Let's go. So we have our own court now, but the first king of all, Bosnia. Mountainous Bosnia has for centuries been tossed between every war in power in the Balkans. Fellow Slavs from the north and the south, the Carpathian horse lords of the moment, emperors from Bulgaria and Constantinople, even merchant princes of the Adriatic. From today, no more. With my coronation, Bosnia is a kingdom all of its own, and strength and glory away. My legacy shall be remembered for centuries, or fame, get devotion, God blessed us, or lose stress. Honestly, as long as I'm a king of somewhere, you know what? I like that one the best. Just as long as I'm the king of somewhere. No nickname though, sadly. Usually you get a cool nickname with those decisions, but no nickname. Ooh, look at that color. I'm a fan of that color. That looks great. But you know what? For today, I'm going to leave that here because, you know, we have, I'll show you. We have this and when you see where this like orange line is, yeah, we got to get all of this. So yeah, we have a lot of land to still get. I think next time, which will be Friday, I'm going to get another part of this out. We'll go for South Slavia. So we're going to take on Bulgaria, Bavaria, Hungary, and the Byzantines. So that's going to be a big challenge. But like I did say at the start, anything you want to see me do along the way, I'm thinking three or four parts max. So I should get it wrapped up by next Friday latest. But yeah, anything you want to see me do along the way, like other challenges, certain cultures you want me to create or diverge with, other faiths, anything like that, let me know in the comments and I'll write it all down and get the next part ready for Friday where we caught an even bigger challenge than today's. Yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. I'm going to end the video with a massive thank you to all the channel members. We have Intermio1, Toxic Flame, and Mikey Louie. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.